If you've been following the story of our restart account, you might remember that I messed up on day 5, missed the initial jump and had to migrate to the final kingdom with a passport page 10 days later. Well, that one little mistake is now costing us a lot more because this kingdom, Kingdom 3420, is officially dead. Spartans! What is your profession? <laughs> it all started the day I migrated to my final kingdom. I started getting weird messages from some R4s and R5s regarding a dispute between the leaders of Alliance 420T, 420A and 420E. One person said, hey brother, do not leak, I know you are streaming. Don't waste your money and time here, internally it is very weak, sorry for letting you down. And another guy said, things with the other alliance in the project are not going smoothly, two of the three alliances in the group are planning to move to 3428 potentially. And I said what happened, and this guy said the leader of the third alliance is 15 years old, bought an account and has no experience, he is ruining this project into the ground, the other two alliances whose leadership are experienced and aren't children are leaving unfortunately. At that moment, and it is literally a few minutes after I migrated to Final Kingdom, I already knew that <laughs> we are f***ed on day one in the Final Kingdom. After a couple of silent days, we got this alliance mail. As most of you probably have heard or saw, Shadows and Kino have both stepped down from R5 due to the request of the other two alliances. Shadows has actually quit altogether, he needs a break and Kino will be stepping down but remaining here. It was actually a pretty long mail but that is the most important part. And I'm gonna lie, it gave me a little bit of hope because Alliance T was accepting the changes requested by other two alliances and I thought maybe this project will still alive after all. But then I got this following message from an R4. Unfortunately, you've been named as one of the players by the leaders of 428 that they would like to leave 420T and join either Alliance A or E. This is not a punishment, but it is in order to balance power. I would like to ask you how you feel about this. I would also like you to know that the leaders of 420T do not want this to happen, but it may have to in order to maintain peace in this kingdom. This is not final and us, our force, are working hard to find a solution. Please let me know your thoughts. They were basically trying to spread some decently powered players into multiple alliances, which was completely understandable because while I was still in the starting kingdom, I told one of the leaders of 420A alliance that the power gap between the alliances is massive and having almost all spenders in one alliance, which was 420T, is going to cause some serious issues. So I was kind of already predicting what is going to happen, but I just didn't want to abandon the project based on a possibility However, I wish I did because that's exactly what happened. At that time, I was ready to move to a different alliance and basically waiting for instructions, but then this mail hit the inbox. As some of you may have seen, Golden Age are leaving our kingdom. There has been issues for a while, but recently they asked us to start sending our players to them in order to balance alliances. This caused more friction than usual. Some of you will have received messages from Prince where he explained to you what was going on. Most of the responses to him were people saying that they did not want to leave our alliance and that's why we didn't agree with them. Of course, this whole drama was making players very uncomfortable, especially the high spenders. On July 12, two of our biggest spenders, Suzy with 17 million power and Hulk with 14 million, left the kingdom at the same time and together they joined to a different kingdom. And this pretty much was the final blow. After that, many people started to leave their alliances and both New World bundles to get passport pages to migrate and in a couple of hours, almost half of the kingdom was gone in a blink of an eye. All three main alliances were destroyed and I was ranked 66 in the whole kingdom with only 2.4 million power. So yeah, Kingdom 3420 literally died, it is now like a ghost town. Now you might say, what is the big deal Spartan just migrate to a different kingdom like most people did? Well. Do you remember the start of this video? On day 5 of this account, I missed the jump because the target kingdom was filled just in a few minutes. And because of that, I had to wait in the first kingdom, Kingdom 3413, 10 extra days, and then I migrated here with a passport page, just like a sleeper. This means I technically migrate to this kingdom, Kingdom 3420, and you know what happens when you migrate to a kingdom, right? Your account goes into a 30-day cooldown period until you can migrate again. So yeah, since I migrated to this kingdom around 8 days ago, I still have 22 more days to wait until I can migrate to a different one. 
So on top of that initial 10 extra days that we had to spend in the Starling Kingdom, now that a few minutes where I missed the jump, costing us another 22 days. Look what a 5 minute mistake can do to your account in Rise of Kingdoms and I ain't gonna lie, it is pretty upsetting. And it's not only due to the collapse of the project and the kingdom, but as I said at the start of the video, I got those messages from the leaders and our force the second that I migrated to this kingdom. Because at that time I was live streaming and they were actually watching. I just wish that those people would tell me what's going on before I actually migrate to this kingdom. They could have given me a warning, tell me what's going on, or maybe even instruct me to stay in my initial kingdom for a couple of more days, or even just go to another kingdom, tell me to go to another different kingdom. Because the second I migrate to this kingdom, I'm learning that around 70% of people are going to leave pretty soon. And since I wasn't a jumper, I was a sleeper, I migrated here with a passport, they knew that I would have to wait 30 days before I can actually migrate to a different kingdom. That's in my opinion what is really upsetting, but of course we cannot give up. People are still trying to do their best for players who got stuck in the kingdom just like me. We still do have a semi-active alliance with a couple of friends that we can rally for, skill lohars, etc. And in the meantime, we will simply observe the kingdoms that we can migrate once the cooldown is finished. But most likely, I will join 3421 because they already invited me to their kingdom, but nothing is certain yet. We'll see what happens next now. We just need to stay strong, get the best out of these 20-ish days before we can actually leave this kingdom. You know, grab the altars, rally barbarian force, rally lohars, kill all these guard guardians for... Because <laughs> the kingdom is dead, like literally no one kills these guardians, so I do it by myself. Uh, which is actually giving me a lot of XP. And that is great. And once this countdown you see at the bottom is over, we will decide our final kingdom and leave 3420 for good. Spartan from future here. So while I was editing the video, <laughs> a great thing happened. The reason why it's great because that is the main example why these new projects, new kingdoms are failing drastically. Uh, so I was in this alliance and I was in this zone. The reason why I was in this zone was because I couldn't join either uh, 420e or this alliance who occupies both passes because they are <laughs> they are literally dead look at that uh yeah 10 people left so i couldn't join either of them to get through the pass with a targeted teleport and i didn't have a territorial teleport and i didn't want to waste my gems on it right and i also don't have the credits because i do purchase a passport page in my previous alliance to get ready for migration once it's available and i told our r5 dragon that this is the situation and i cannot teleport and he said of course uh, take your time until you do have a territorial like this kingdom is dead anyways we are just trying to get the best out of it while we are still here but then <laughs> i look at the message i got from uh, this guy birdie TP now. I will kick you if you don't TP in five minutes. <laughs> and of course, I just laughed at it. Like, what the hell is this language? If people with this language are the R4s or R5s of your alliance, of course you are not going to succeed. And that's the main reason why I'm making these videos, right? I'm, I'm, I'm making this, this is actually a series, a brand new account series, because I'm showing you something in Rise of Kingdoms what happens if you do it, like what are the upsides and what are the downsides, the pros and cons. And that is the biggest downside, that is the biggest risk of creating a brand new account, you know, joining a project because it can easily get ruined by people in so-called leadership. I don't know what kind of a leading that is, but I myself, I do have like a decent experience in Rise of Kingdoms and a little bit of a knowledge, right? But when people tell me you want to be an R4 of this alliance or R5, I said, no, I don't want it, because even if you do have the experience, even if you do have the knowledge, you still need to have the skills of leading and handling other people. And more importantly, even if you do have the skills, it requires a lot of time and dedication. And unfortunately, <laughs> these new projects, I guess, at least most of them, I don't want to say all of them, but most of them, uh, the leadership doesn't have that qualification and that's why I guess most of them do fail So be aware if you're going to start a brand new account, you know, join a restart project or if you are starting the game for the first time ever <laughs> Just know that there is a high chance that the project might fail and you might be stuck So don't follow the sleeper route in my opinion That is the main takeaway uh, Because the biggest downside of sleeper route is that you are you have to migrate with a passport page because you're not jumping but because of these risks back in the day i think people were much more experienced and like eight out of ten projects would be successful but now in 2024 it's quite the opposite eight out of ten projects 
looks like do fail and that is definitely something to keep in mind because if you do follow the sleeper route and join your final kingdom with a passport page your account of course goes into an immigration cooldown and you have to wait 30 days to be able to migrate to a different kingdom hope you guys liked it hope you guys enjoyed it and i guess i'll see you on the next live stream make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss it goodbye